If you ever want to distribute Oracle VirtualBox through Intune or SCCM, here's how you can get an MSI, which will make the process a lot easier. Pop open a browser. Let's go to the VirtualBox website. Now that we're here, we can click Windows Hosts to download a Windows copy of VirtualBox. And notice that they don't ask you anything. They just download it immediately and it is not an MSI, it's an EXE. Now, here's the trick. If you actually press the little folder icon here to go to the downloads, now that we're in the downloads over here, let's go back up one folder and then we're gonna right click downloads while holding shift. This is gonna add some new options here to this dropdown. We're gonna select open PowerShell window here. Just keep in mind that you can also select open command prompt terminal, and that's gonna behave more or less in the same way with just slightly different commands. All right, so here we are. We're gonna do a quick DIR to see where we are. There's our EXE. So what I'm about to show you is that you could start typing virtual, for example, press tab, and it auto-completes like this. But instead of just running it, we're gonna add a flag here. We're gonna say extract. And then we're gonna press enter. So that finishes, all good. And this little pop-up appears. So now it says that the files were extracted to, and it gives you a location. And that location happens to be app data, local, and then temp. So now to get to this folder, let's press Windows key R. And here we can type percentage local app data, and then percentage. This is a variable that when you enter it, will give you the exact path to the current user's local app data folder. So the local folder within app data. I'm gonna press enter and the folder comes up as expected. The only thing that's missing here is that it's also within the temp folder. So I'm gonna to go to the temp folder and what do you know, right here, there's an actual MSI file. I can just grab this and use it with SCCM or Intune knowing that the interface will be that of a standard Windows installer MSI. It's not always this easy to get an MSI, but I was happy to find that in VirtualBox's case, it's pretty straightforward.